Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on bearings and distances. In this video, we'll be looking at three figure bearings. If you are joining us now, check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on bearings and distances. In three figure bearings, we make use of three digit numbers to represent the bearing of any position. The angles are measured clockwise from the knots. In a case where we have two digits like 57 degrees, we add zero before it to make it three digits, that is 057 degrees. This is demonstrated in the diagram here. We have the four cardinal points in the knot we have 0, 0 degrees, 3 digits. Here is 0, 4, 5 degrees. Here is 0, 9, 0 degrees. And any other angle that is found within this first quadrant, which are meant to be acute angles, we add 0 before it to make it three figures. So you see the measurement is measured from the knot. Then you move clockwise. 45, this is 90, 135, then 180, 225, 270, 315, then you back to 0, 0, 0 degrees. So that is the demonstration of the three figure bearings. Go ahead to solve some problems. We start with problem one. For problem 1, draw each of the following A, 118 degrees, B, 295 degrees, C, 0, 057 degrees, and D, 200 degrees. So in our solution, starting from A, we still need a position. So this is our cardinal point. We are only interested in the knot. So as we have it in the knot here, 118 degrees. Remember, we start from the north pole and move. So we move. This is 90, and that is 118. So we draw the line, and we have drawn the bearing of 118 degrees, which is a three figure bearing. Then we go to B. We have 295 degrees in B. So again, we still have our cardinal point. This is the north pole. We measure from the north and move clockwise. This is 90, remember? This is 180, this is 270. So probably it is in this quadrant. So we get the angle here. This is 295 degrees. So we now draw the line from the points here to pass through where this arc stops. And that is the diagram for 295 degrees. Then we go to C part of the question. For C, we start from the North Pole and move clockwise for 57 degrees. Then we draw the line. And that is it. Diagram for 0, 057 degrees. Then the last one, which is D, is 200 degrees. Still following the same pattern from the North Pole, we move this is 9180, so it is going to be in this third quadrant. So, drawing from the North Pole to the third quadrant, which is 200 degrees, we then draw the line. This is the diagram for 200 degrees. Remember, we are going to be making use of this. This is an introductory video to bearings and distances. We have just told you, if you are joining us now, check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on bearings and distances. So that's the end of solution to problem one. We then go to problem two. For problem two, in each of the following diagrams, state the bearing of 1 P from Q to Q from P. We then start from 
2a for 2a um, we start with the first one the bearing of p from q um, since it is the bearing of p from q we do our calculation on q here but before we go in our previous lesson we told you that this angle is alternate to this angle so if they are equal so this angle is 55 degrees and to get the bearing of p from q using the three figure bearing we start from the north pole and move clockwise to the line joining p and q so we call it a theta we can calculate theta from here remember from here to this line is 180 then we now have 55 degrees ahead so that theta becomes 180 degrees plus 55 degrees and that gives 235 degrees so that the bearing of p from q is 235 degrees then we are done with the first part of a the second part of b says the bearing of q from p so to get the bearing of q from p we move from the north and move clockwise until we get to the line joining p and q so and with that we have 55 degrees since 55 degrees is just two digits or two figures so we add zero to it so that the bearing of q from p is 0 55 degrees so we are done with the a part of problem two we go to b parts for b um we are to start from the first part which is the bearing of p from q the bearing of p from where from q um there's no angle given at q since we are to base our calculation at q at p we are given an angle and this angle will help us to calculate the angle we need at q so that from here we can get this angle call it a theta you know the angle from this north to this line which is the south is 180 so to get our theta we are going to have 180 degrees minus 127 degrees and that gives 53 degrees so from here this angle theta is equal to this angle here they are alternate so we have it as 53 degrees then we can now go ahead to calculate the bearing of p from q remember it is from the north pole you move clockwise until you touch the line joining p and q so we have it and we call it a alpha since the angle of a revolution is 360 degrees we then have alpha as 360 degrees minus 53 degrees which gives 307 degrees so at that point now the bearing of p from q from q here is this alpha which is 307 degrees that's all for the first part of problem 2b so we go to the second part which is the bearing of q from p so from p here now this is what we need and remember we move from the north and go clockwise until we get to the line joining p and q and that angle is 127 degrees therefore the bearing of q from p is 127 degrees that's all for problem two we then go to problem three for problem three the bearing of a from b is 230 degrees find the bearing of b from a a from b is 230 b from a is what we are looking for we are going to draw this so drawing this we get the four cardinal points and uh, we call it b because we are giving the bearing of a from b from b so we start from b 
then 230 degrees remember from the north pole we are moving clockwise and this is 90 180 230 will be in this region so we have it here as 230 degrees we then draw the line and get the cardinal point of that point which is point a so from here now we can calculate this angle this angle is alternate to this angle it will help us to do any calculation we need at point a so we need this angle let's call it a theta and uh, from here to this place is 180 we just take away 180 from 230 to give us a theta so that theta will be equal to 230 degrees minus 180 degrees and that will give us 50 degrees which means this angle here is 50 degrees so that we can now find the bearing of b from where from a so the bearing of b from a is from the north pole to the line joining a and b the angle there is 50 degrees so we add zero before it to give us the bearing of b from a which is 0, 050 0 degrees and that's all for problem three this is the highest we can take in this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it please like and share this video also remember to check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on bearings and distances until we come your way again goodbye